In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a reveal that we're going to actually use in a project that I am working on. So the first thing that I like to do is I like to have my project open that I plan to put this thing in, um, and I'll just have it sitting in the background. From here, I'm going to go up to the File menu, and I hardly ever do anything from scratch. I always open up something else and do a save as because all the foundation is there. So I'm going to go into open and uh, I'm already here in this location but just in case you're wondering profiles of course they're in the library profiles and since I'm putting this reveal on a wall it is located underneath wall underneath profile so this is what profiles looks like this is what wall looks like the reveal I'm going to make is actually going to be a little triangle shaped joint. So um, there's really on, only one reveal that's inside of this library. So we're going to take and we're going to use it, I'm, in which is the brick course from Tell It Open. And obviously, this reveal is the same size as a brick. So, and this is in plan view. It's something to realize that this is in plan view. So I'm going to just take this as my starting point, but I'm going to draw in a couple other lines because, like I said, I'm going to do just a little mini joint. So the first thing I want to do, I'm going to go to my line tool. Oh, no, excuse me. That's not the first thing I want to do. The first thing I want to do is a save as. I always do a save as because you don't want to accidentally save over a different file that gets used. So I'm going to do save as and I'm going to say family. And it's going to, of course, put me back into that same uh, location. And I'm going to call this one a triangle joint. I'm going to keep the word reveal because that's how I uh, breaks it up so I know they're all together. And I'm going to say triangle joint. Make sure this is spelled right. Okay, so now this, this is the correct file. I'm next going to draw in some guidelines for myself. So I'm going to draw along the center line. And I'm going to keep this line because this is the front so it's just something to keep me aware of. The other thing I'm going to do, I'm going to do an offset and I'm going to do one quarter of an inch. It's a decent size uh, joint and actually let's do a half of an inch. Half, half inch joint. So set that to one half of an inch. Okay now I can start to move some things. So I'm going to draw in a few more lines. Let's go back to create line. And I want these to actually hit along this point. So that's a good starting point. I'm going to get rid of these pieces that we cannot use anymore. So I got rid of those just like that. And I'm going to take the, these and I'm going to do it by the grip. So what I did was I made sure that both lines plus the corner were inside of my selection joint or my selection box and I'm going to edit them but I just realized I didn't do the offset so hang on I'll go back say offset and then this joint is going to be about a half of an inch so I'm going to offset this by a quarter and I'm going to offset it from both sides you see that there and these are just guidelines for me now I'm going to do the selection get my grip inside of the window and I'm going to pull this in uh oh too far so that it hits where those two come together same thing on this side. And I now have a wall joint. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get rid of all these excess lines because you cannot have uh, any lines that are intersecting or uh, more that are not part of the profile. It all has to be an enclosed profile. Now that I have my triangle joint together, I'm just going to go up top here and I'm going to say load in the project and close. And obviously it's going to ask me if I want to hit save and I'm going to say yes. And I haven't already have had one in a joint in here from before from when I was doing some work. So this is why this is popping up and asking me what I want to do. Obviously, I'm, I, whenever you do have this come up, if you do have something else that you're working on, you went back in and edited or something like that. You do want to always say overwrite the existing version and its parameter values because that's most likely where you did your work at. So now that I have that reveal in, I'm now ready to start using it on a wall.